Jeremy Clarkson has reignited his feud with LBC's James O'Brien, criticizing what he views as rising anti-monarchy sentiment. Jeremy Clarkson has taken fresh aim at LBC presenter James O'Brien as the presenter criticized what he sees as growing anti-monarchy sentiment. The Clarkson's farm star began his latest column by admitting he fears that pressure to abolish our monarchy is building. He argues that this movement stems from lefties who don't like royals and want to be rid of them as quickly as possible after seizing power. The former Top Gear host reacted to a recent Channel 4 investigation into the royal family's finances, alleging that King Charles and Prince William have earned millions from contracts with public services and charities. O'Brien reacted strongly to the investigation on his LBC show, describing the allegations as one of the grimmest things I've read about my country, and accusing the royals of taking the mickey. Clarkson, 64, dismissed the uproar, calling it an exaggerated reaction, and wrote, When news of this reached the king of the lefties, the LBC presenter James O'Brien, he looked so pained I thought the king had run amok in a church with a sword. He continued, I truly love James. He is the funniest man on the internet because he always acts like he truly can't understand why the whole world doesn't share his views. Clarkson went on to muse about the potential consequences if the UK were to abolish the monarchy and elect a president, pointing to the latest US election race between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris as an example that it rarely works out. He joked that if Britain needed to elect a president, Nigel Farage would be on the list, and that would certainly make me happy. Not because I want him as president, but because I would so enjoy James O'Brien's face if he were successful. He speculated that Farage would likely be opposed by Carol Vorderman as a candidate from the shouty end of the mad left. This isn't Clarkson's only recent criticism of figures on the left. Writing in The Sun on Friday, the Grand Tour star expressed his belief that Starmer and Reeves have a sinister plan, alleging that Rachel Reeves, the chancellor, is aiming to ethnically cleanse the country of farmers, to make room for new towns, for immigrants, and net zero wind farms. They want to carpet bomb our farmland with new towns for immigrants and net zero wind farms, he wrote, but before they can do that, they have to ethnically cleanse the countryside of farmers. That's why they had a budget which makes farming nigh on impossible. And that's why I'll be in London on the 19th, he continued, referring to an upcoming protest by independent farmers later this month. Clarkson had initially planned to protest alongside the NFU, National Farmers Union, but the organization called off its involvement for legal reasons.